Blackmagic 6K announced, and um, yeah, I only caught on yesterday. I've been busy. Uh, that's my excuse. So, um, will I be buying one? Um, so, anybody who knows this channel knows that I um, are back in focus. Yep. I know the SM7B is, is absolutely beautiful, but come on. Um, keep focus. Um, so, so, yeah, anybody who knows my channel it knows that I love uh, Blackmagic and I've got a, quite a few Blackmagic cameras. Uh, this is the 6K Pro. <laughs> I don't really love the battery grip and it's it's kind of heavy and it's kind of awkward and it's kind of tall and you know it's just uh, just strange really but you know I, I still love it uh, I've got two of these two 6k pros uh, they are crop sensor uh, so super 35 um, and uh, EF mount as well so big big flange distance there uh, built in NDs that is absolutely fantastic um, so ND filters are activated with these buttons. You just see my grid uh, there uh, in the reflection. So, um, so yeah, it, it's it's a great camera. Um, I've got, like I said, I've got two of these. Uh, one of them I'll use with a V mount, um, and this one um, has got the battery grip. I kind of regret the battery grip, but it was so cheap at like 130, 140 quid. Um, and I've ended up getting uh, about I've got about three k just for these as well. So I'm quite invested in the six k Pro, and I I do like it. It's great great for A and B cam. Uh, obviously the same camera, so you can match them up um, really nicely. Um, and yeah, so it's it's great. I mean, things that I love about it. I'm just just kind of revisiting this. I mean, I've used this extensively. I love it. Um, it's got the mini XLRs, which, which is great. Uh, I'm not going to do B-roll with this video. I'm just going to talk straight to camera. Um, and I'm not going to edit it hardly, you know, so I'm, I'm just going to do kind of one cut. Um, it's got USB, and I do use the um, T5, so Samsung T5s with this. Um, and it's got the full-size HDMI, which is fantastic. Um, the menu is great. The menu is simple. It's easy to use. Has it got any power? Uh, this? Oh no, got no power. Um, so I can't, I can't show you that. Unfortunately, sorry. But you know, there's plenty of videos out there where the, the um, going through the menus. I'm not, I'm not going to go painstakingly go through the, for the menus. Um, good audio options. You've got a um, 3.5. So you got. Um, 3.5 uh, audio in you've got uh, headphones headphone jack um i've never used it with a memory card honestly i have never used it with a memory card so that's probably the second or third time i've ever even opened that door um but you've got an sd and a cfast i don't own any cfast um so I, like i said I, I exclusively use this with the samsung um T5s, uh, which uh, other the T5s, I think. Um, yeah, I think so. Um, so yeah, uh, will I be buying the full frame 6K? Um, I don't think so because I, the one of the main things I like about the um, 6K Pro are the built-in NDs. I think they're fantastic. Um, and do I want full frame enough to to get a 6K full frame? At this point, no. I mean, um, I've got I've got uh, full frame cameras, um, and I don't think I want to, um, you know, get get a 6K full frame for that reason actually, and that kind of biased me because I've, I'm already kind of sorted for for full frame. Um, I'm just looking through the specs now, and uh, yeah, so uh, Blackmagic Cinema Camera 6K, uh, Lens Turret Dust Cap, that's in the feature list. So does this have one of those? Is that what that is? Is it a lens cap? So is that a selling point? Um, it's that little uh, Super 35. It's not little, is it? You know, it's 
it's sufficient. Um, at dust cap. Uh, it is a beast. It's an absolute beast. Um, that is that is inconvenient. I mean, especially when you've got a lens on it, you just, you know, it's just. I'd never really shoot it like that. I've always got it in a tripod. Um, I don't put it on a gimbal or anything like that. Uh, but that that's heavy. That's heavy without even a, a lens on it. So it's a, it's a nice chunk. It's the battery grip really, which makes it like that. What I've done with the uh, with the other 6K Pro that I've got, and I'm way out of focus again, come on, um, is I put it on some rails um, and uh, V-mount at the back, um, maybe a lens support I think I've got on it. I've got a lens support somewhere. Um, and I, I sometimes use it with the Zine 50mm uh, cine lens which is nice I've got a follow focus on it and that's quite nice so that's how I uh, rig out the other one and it's it's. I suppose it's okay to be rigged but you, you never want to rig it with a battery grip on it so for me the battery grip it were only 130 140 pounds um, so I just saw it as a bargain at the time and I just thought I'd get that you know just to, for completeness really but I really do regret the battery grip Um so, yep, that's the 6K Pro. And um, so it's got the same batteries with the 6K full frame, the NPF 570. So I think that's the same batteries. Uh, of course, you get the DaVinci Resolve activation key, um, which is good. DaVinci is fantastic. Um, it's completely new innards. It's obviously an L mount. Uh, which is really adaptable. So you can use your EF um, lenses on it anyway, if you've got EF. I'm not sure if it adapts to RF, but, but, but L -man mount is. Uh, this is some really good quality um, L mount glass as well. Um, so there's, there's no, what I did notice is um, and I think it was down to the processing and that's full frame. There's no ProRes, which, um, so basically it shoots exclusively in Blackmagic RAW uh, and with, with a proxy as well. So it shoots a proxy at the same time. So you don't have to uh, generate the proxies, which is good, but losing ProRes is, is a bit, because ProRes is a smaller, uh, size. I mean, Blackmagic RAW is is very easy on on like an M1 uh, Mac, um, as is ProRes, obviously. But um, yeah, losing losing ProRes is is one of the reasons why. That's not a showstopper for me, but but Blackmagic RAW is is larger in file size than the ProRes, basically. Um, I don't have any L mount lenses and it's I think the thing that gets me because you can just buy an adapter for L lens glass so that doesn't make a difference to me I don't know how the the the, the kind of what I call it one touch autofocus will work with L mount I'm, I'm assuming it'd be fine uh, but basically it's a manual focus system anyway when you get a black magic um so there's no continuous autofocus, no dual pixel uh, autofocus or anything like that, obviously. Um, so it's a, it's a cinema cinema camera, so it's, it's pretty much manual. Um, but yeah, I think the I think the deal break. I've not seen any any footage from it. Um, I'd love to see that. Um, I personally won't be invested in one uh, simply because, um, like I said, I've got other full full frame uh, cameras uh, but I think the I think the deal breaker for me is not having the built-in NDs so I think I think that really is a problem so the built-in NDs on the 6k pro are the reason why I went for the 6k pro over the 6k so because they've had to because they've uh, well they've not had to go to L mount but you know 
EF is kind of legacy now, isn't it? Um, there's not been enough in the enough flange distance to to fit in the um, that. Now the addition of the low pass filter, so that that helps to um, reduce more uh, so the weird effect that you get with certain patterns, and things like that, and so that's certainly something that's good. And I think they put that in the 12k in the in the uh, Blackmagic Ursa 12k due to popular demand. Uh, so that's pretty good. So the that's definitely uh, welcome. So the built-in optical low-pass filter. Um, the the thing that I would like to see tests on, and I've not I've not really looked into it that much because I only like I said I only found out about it yesterday. Um, so I'm a bit late to the party, but uh, the the wibbly wobbly. I'd like to find out about the uh, the wibbly wobbly. Obviously, it's completely different internals, but they've kept the same. Uh, I think dimensions besides one um, one screw somewhere, you know. So some of the cages don't fit. I'm, I'm not sure which ones the tilt, uh, which tilters or uh, smaller rig ones wouldn't fit, um, or, or other manufacturers. Um, but uh, but yeah, interesting. And I, I would like to find out about the uh, rolling shutter, basically the wibbly wobbly. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty much sort of for Black Magic, really. I mean, I've got two 6K pros. I'm happy with those. Um, it would be nice to have a third 6K pro, but you know, um, maybe for video podcasting where you've got a, a wide, and then you've got a couple of tight shots, head and shoulders, something like that. That'd be really nice, um, especially with the um, uh, the ISO. Um, the, uh, with the uh, Atom um, ISO Pro, um, you know, having three, three of the same camera would be really nice. But, but yeah, um, but then I'd be I'd be paying for the uh, NDs, which I'm not going to use inside, am I? So, um, so yeah, it's a bit of a dilemma, but it's not one that I'm even considering. I'm not. I won't be buying a, a 6K full frame. Um, I think it's certainly interesting. Um, I would like to see how the... Um, I do really like Blackmagic cameras. I really like Blackmagic as a company. Um, and I love DaVinci. Um, and they're, they're just good value for money. Um, they're, they're just fantastic for what you get, really. Um, so, so yeah, that those are my thoughts on the, the new 6K um full frame and kind of looking back on my uh, 6k pros which I, I still love to use and, and really enjoy um if they had that continuous autofocus even better um but you know they don't so uh but i tell you what one other thing uh, just before i uh, close the video when Blackmagic brought out the um, the stabilization, now you know that you can do in DaVinci, that that were a game changer, and I do really do appreciate that with the firmware update. So I think that's brilliant. So um, would I recommend the 6K Pro? Definitely, yeah. I mean, the, the built-in NDs uh, are one of the best things about it. But honestly, to get a Blackmagic camera, you've got the menu system. It's it's brilliant. I don't know why I'm showing you that because there's. Can't switch it on because uh, there's no juice in it. But uh, despite the battery, <laughs> the battery grip as well, uh, you know, so I've let it run out of juice. Uh, but yeah, it's it, it's great. It's it's a great. Uh, you can see the little light coming on. I think. Oh no, it, it just gave me a little bit of red light and then it it went straight off. So, um, but yeah, the stabilization is great. The the menu is fantastic. The image uh, is is really really gorgeous actually um out of these um the raw is amazing <laughs> you can change the iso in post um you can change the white balance in post it's amazing so um a lot of people will get these shooting prores so i'm not sure how the market is gonna um take it not having uh, prores the new 6k uh, full frame but but yeah uh, it is where it is isn't it so compromises have to be made uh, because of the l mount uh, flange distance 
uh, but the L, L mount is, is much more versatile anyway. You can adapt um, to, to different lenses. And there's some great, like I said, there's some, there's some great options out there for L, um, L mount lenses. So, so yeah, I'll love you and leave you. And um, I've not looked in, into things like dynamic range of the 6K full frame. Um, but um, yeah, I, I, I'm just a big Blackmagic fan, as you know. So uh, see you soon.